I'd like to welcome you all here to this uh, beautiful place here by the lake this morning and it's it's such a pretty morning here and, and such a great day and our guys did, did a good job of putting some things together here and and today is a, a great day to be a firefighter and also to be an American here today and if you would stand with me we'll do a Pledge of Allegiance real quick here. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This morning I'd like to, uh, to begin by recognizing a few of our special guests I see here in the audience this morning. We have a couple commissioners with us here this morning. We have Commissioner Justin Troller and we have Commissioner uh, uh, Jim Maless. We have from the City Manager's Office here our City Manager Doug Thomas, Deputy City Manager Tony Delgado, and Assistant City Manager Brad Johnson. And also with us this morning, our distinguished police chief, Larry Giddens, is here. Thank you for coming this morning, Larry. And, and uh, there's a number of, of other officials out here this morning, as well as our Rotary partners and, and friends that may be here this morning. I want to take this, uh, this, this morning and, and talk about a, a little bit of a unique and memorable way to share with our community about our urban search and rescue program, and at the same time recognize the Lakeland Rotary Club's generous donation for helping us uh, outfit our USAR team and acquire some water rescue equipment. So the solution was a christening here ceremony that we're at here this morning to help help us uh, with the department and the Rotary to come together and to celebrate in a way that will mark our new rescue boat and the completion of it being outfitted with some special equipment in which Lieutenant Matt Brown will elaborate on here in just a few more minutes, here in just a little later. This boat is replacing an 11 year old boat through um, our normal uh, amortization process. The older boat was a um, Zodiac style boat with some sponsons on the side of it and it was more of a rubberized boat that we, and, and, and one of the issues that we always concerned us with our rubber boat was sometimes we have drag hooks and they're very sharp hooks and they would, we're going to punch a hole in it at some point. So when we got the opportunity to get another boat here through attrition, we, were, we, we got one that didn't, that didn't require air to be filled up to, to stay afloat. Um, with that being said, um, our new rescue uh, boat that we have here uh, comes at no new expense other than through our, our normal replacement process for our rescue boat. Additionally, because of Rotary's donation and to the project, we were able to um, purchase some uh, materials and equipment for the boat that, that we weren't able to within our budgetary process. Uh, the, the cost of our boat without any additional equipment was $22,800 is what the boat cost. This is a great example of a community working together for the benefit of all our citizens through the, through the help of Rotary. And at this point, um, without further ado, I'd ask Lieutenant Matt Brown to come up and share some things with us about our USAR program and about our water rescue response. Lieutenant Brown? Thank you, Chief. The dominant feature in Lakeland is the city's many lakes. 38 lakes are named with a number of other bodies of water unnamed, mostly phosphate mine pits that eventually fill with water. Several hundred citizens and visitors use these waterways for recreation, the regatta boat race, and even the splash in during the annual Sun and Fun Air Show. Members of the Lakeland Fire Department's technical rescue team realize that in addition to the other disciplines we are trained to perform, such as confined space rescues, trench rescues, high, low angle rope rescues, vehicle machinery rescue and structural collapse rescues, we also needed to be proactive and be prepared to perform water rescues. In August 2011, nine members of the team completed the 40-hour state certified swift water rescue course. Part of that training took place in the early morning hours at Bush Gardens at their Congo River Rapid Ride without the boat. For the course, the students purchased some of the equipment ourselves, and the training company that did perform the training loaned us the remaining equipment. Once we completed the course, we, we realized we did not have the required equipment necessary for our department to uh, properly perform a water rescue. The State Emergency Response Plan recognizes the need for water rescue, and in 2012, they began to take the necessary steps to add water rescue discipline to the state plan. The state's requirement for a water rescue team is based on not necessarily the recreational rescue, but also during a natural disaster like a hurricane or, na or major flooding. The state outfitted the task force, task force teams with boats and a list of necessary equipment. 
Our administration realized the need for a water rescue team and with the previous boat and equipment outdated and scheduled to be replaced, requested the team make a recommendation for the purchases. We visited our friends at Task Force 4, which is over in Central Florida, and trained on their boat and used their equipment. The recommendation was made to purchase the one boat, just like the state task forces, because it's specifically designed for water rescue, as evident by the loading platform on the front, and it's also designed to connect with other similar boats to make one larger platform for a rescue. Our administration was able to purchase the one boat, but funds were still needed for the purchase of replacement and additional rescue equipment. In late 2013, during a board meeting at the Lakeland Rotary Club, I was asked what needs the fire department had in regards to equipment donations. This was during the time the club was donating funds to the Kindergarten Learn to Swim program. I suggested we stay with the swimming water theme and requested the purchase of water rescue equipment to outfit the new boat and train water rescue personnel. As usual, the Lakeland Rotary Club graciously agreed to donate the funds for the equipment. The decision was, was made not to purchase the equipment until the new boat was placed into service. The boat was purchased in late December 2014 and placed into service the first part of this year. A portion of the funds received by Rotary went to the installation of spotlights mounted on the rack above the motor. And these lights generally are, are greatly improve our visibility at night and in all directions. And we've used that before, not too long ago, um, looking for a child that had left um, the South Florida Baptist Children's Home. And we went, he, he was found later unharmed, but we looked for him in that body of water using our lights that evening. The remaining funds went to purchase the water rescue equipment. Part of the equipment purchased replaced outdated, outdated equipment that had been in service for several years. That equipment includes the yellow flotation device you see here. This is uh, what the lifeguards use, the quick throwing that we can give somebody um, a flotation device to hold, and also our personal flotation devices here. Um, these are specifically designed, uh, you can see it's a lot smaller than what Mike is wearing. Um, these were des are designed for the quick water rescue and they'll inflate once they're in four inches of water or you can manually do it. But it's easier to, to move around the boat with this on. So we were able to purchase two of these for our quick response. Right, the new equipment purchase that can be used, additional new equipment that can be used for immediate water rescue included the PFDs. We also have a, a, a personal flotation device designed for canines. We, if we have a major uh, incident like a hurricane or the flood, it's not only the people but also their pets. So now we have a way to put a flotation device on, on their animals. Uh, we, all, we also already had extra adult children and infant uh, personal flotation devices that were still good and in service. We have uh, three 50-foot throw bags. These bags can be used um, to throw out to an individual that's trapped in um, water for them to hold on and then we can pull them to shore. So we have three of those. Uh, on the boat also we were able to purchase 400 feet of a rope that specialized for water so it will float and we divided those up into two 200 sections. And then the rest of the funds went to the equipment for our uh, Swift Water Rescue Team which is the team that trained at, at Bush Gardens for natural disasters. And that includes five of the personal flotation devices that Mike is graciously wearing for us. Um, and in those with the pockets we have um, a set of our uh, knives uh, part of our training, a lot of times with your swift water, you get entangled in objects. So part of our training was how to cut ourselves free. So we have a knife. Uh, we have a whistle. In case we're in trouble, we can always whistle uh, for some help. We also have the five, we, they purchased five pairs of water gloves. In addition to, I mentioned the knives and the whistles, we also have five handheld flashlights that we can put in the pocket of the PFDs. Uh, shirts were purchased to protect us from um, the chafing and a special water sh shirts. Those are on back order and should be here any day now. The water boots, which are actually very important, um, that we can keep these on and they protect our feet. So if we were to walk in 
some kind of water like this along the shorelines, we're still getting that protection. The five equipment bags for all the equipment to go in. And then the helmets is what we had purchased with our own money previously. Um, so we, st we already have our helmets that we can wear in it. Uh, this is what our USAR team, uh, FL Florida 421. So then we have our insignia on there. So you can see that Rotary really came through and we were able to purchase a lot of the needed necessary equipment that we needed. Not, not only for the quick water rescue response, um, but also to prepare for natural disasters. So thank you. At this time, I'd like to call our Rotary president, Tom Cogner. Thank you, Matt. Um, two years ago, the Lakeland Rotary Club uh, took on a uh, community service project to raise funds to uh, train uh, kindergartners on, uh, or to provide swimming lessons to kindergartners in, uh, in conjunction with the uh, Polk County School System and the YMCA. And uh, in that effort, we raised uh, $70,000, in excess of $70,000, and um, so far, and, and that was for a four-year program, so so far, um, two years into the program, we've trained 21, almost 2,150 kids on, uh, on, with swimming lessons that are, uh, um, you know, this is all about drowning prevention. And so <clears throat> we had extra funds uh, left over from that project, and we were looking for a way to kind of support that same theme of drowning prevention. And Matt came to us and uh, suggested uh, the water rescue equipment that you see here and on the boat, and and it was perfect for what uh, what we wanted to do with the funds. And so um, we, uh, at, at his suggestion, and the board of directors of the uh, of the Rotary Club agreed that uh, this would be an appropriate way to uh, to use those funds. And so that's what we've done, and um, we're very proud to uh, to. Uh, take on projects like this that improve the lives of uh, the citizens of our community. Um, Larry will remember two year, three years ago we donated um, 131 AEDs to the Lakeland Police Department for, uh, for their uh, vehicles. And th these things, um, these, we want to make a difference in the community that we, that we live and where we serve. And uh, we feel these projects are uh, right in our wheelhouse. This is what we do. This is who we are. And um, we're just so proud to be here today to see this equipment go to use. And, uh, and I'm certain that it will benefit this community some way, some w sometime uh, in the near future. So um, our thanks to the uh, Lakeland Fire Department. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, we used to, we used to, we don't anymore, but we had a triathlon for several years here uh, on our Child of the Sun fundraising event, and the Lakeland Fire Department provided safety, water safety services for us. So in a way, this is, uh, this is a way for us to give back to you. Thank you very much for the services that you provided to our club and to the swimmers that were uh, part of our event. So thank you very much for that. Um, the... Uh, the club is, uh, is always looking for projects like this. Um, we feel we make a difference in this community. We feel we make a difference in this world. And we've got all kinds of projects that are, uh, that are on the board for uh, similar uh, to help us improve this community. So thank you very much for having us today. It's, a, it's been our pleasure to, uh, to support this effort. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I'm Janelle Vasayo, the Public Information Officer here at the Lakeland Fire Department. So I thought it'd be fitting to give you a little bit of background information behind uh, these type of uh, ceremonies and the symbolism involved. We're about to get to the symbolic portion where we will christen said rescue boat. And uh, we're very happy that we have Michelle Ledford, who I'll introduce in a few moments, to be the godmother of said rescue boat. <laughs> So that, that's quite the honor. You can put that on your resume now. <laughs> um, I, a little bit of history behind this. Uh, as long as there have been boats in recorded history, there have been some type of christening ceremony for the boats. Uh, records in ancient Egyptian times, even the Phoenicians, they would have a ceremony where they would bless the boat or christen the boat so that it can keep everyone on it safe. Uh, so 
it, the tradition stems back to the very beginnings of early American history with our U.S. Navy uh, doing this on all of their boats since the USS Constitution. Uh, a lot of times you will notice or remember that it tends to be champagne bottles, uh, but that just started up pretty recently. It used to just be any kind of uh, fluid. So sometimes uh, for certain boats that the Navy would commission, they would even use river water, symbolic river water from around the country. Here as a city entity, we have non-alcoholic sparkling grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to make that very clear. <laughs> uh, and another uh, traditional thing that ties into these type of ceremonies is that it's typically a woman uh, that gives it that feminine touch and does the actual christening ceremony. Uh, so with that, I'd like to invite up Michelle Ledford. And Michelle is the past president of the Rotary Club. We're very honored that she agreed to help us out with this. And it's also important to note that last year she was the president and she sort of spearheaded that effort for fundraising on behalf of Rotary and was instrumental in gathering up that money and making those contributions to these really important safety uh, topics here in Lakeland. So we feel that it's very fitting that you sort of cap off uh, that, that time in your life with Rotary with, with this ceremony. So if you'd like to come up and share a few words, we will get the actual physical christening part set up for you. So if any of the cameras, you're more than welcome to come up to record that. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure just to say a, f a few other things about the Lakeland Rotary Club. Our current president, Tom Conger, and um, myself and a few other members here today represent over 170 members of our Lakeland Rotary Club that are really committed to giving back in meaningful ways. So it really is our privilege to be here with you today and we're so happy to have such a generous community and a generous group of members that want to embrace projects like this. So I must say this will be the first time I've ever christened a boat. So we'll see how this goes. But um, I'm very happy to be representing and um, taking part in this today. Thank you all very much.